Hi there, welcome to live stream yoga with Louise. Tips and cues to keep you safe and strong on the mat. Today's practice is all about committing yourself to living fully in the present, not dwelling on things past that cannot be changed. As always, play when you're comfortable, modify when you need to, rest when you need to. You ready? Let's hit the mat. We're going to set up for today's class, standing towards the top end of the mat with enough room to take a lunge step back. Look down towards your feet and you're going to think um, soft plie like line so that you can set up a horse stance from here. So you're standing with your feet quite wide. Maybe they are just on the outer edge of your mat, maybe even a little bit wider than that. And your toes are softly splayed out so that you're making a wide V-frame with your feet. You're going to stand up nice and tall, just starting to find a sense of beginning to ground and root through your feet. And then bend softly at the knees, taking your knees out at 45 so they're not falling in, and then come back to center. You're going to do that a few times, just gently beginning to prepare the knees and the hips for a squat line. So exhale as you bend and drop down through the pelvis. Inhale to come back. Make sure that you're beginning to work with your breath pattern. Maybe you'd like to begin using a nice audible breath pattern, helping you to find and establish that rhythm. And then you're going to end in the horse stance. So knees bent, feet softly splayed out. You're going to pretend that you're holding a ball of energy alongside your chest. Drop down, drop it to the floor, pick it back up, bring it towards your chest and then away from your chest. You're going to repeat that action, bringing the ball in towards your chest, dropping it down, pushing it away from you. Start to find a gentle flow of your own and almost think Tai Chi, making soft, fluid-like movements as you harvest that energy, bring it in towards you, push it away, bring it back, drop down, pick it up, push it away, bring it back. One more, the legs should be burning and speaking to you at this stage. You're going to stand up nice and tall, legs are still splayed out. You're going to reach the arms out and you're going to think of making a star-like frame with your body. So you're reaching long through the hands, long through the crown, beautiful stretch through the belly and a nice stretch on the inseam of your legs. Then symbolically begin to place your hands on your chest, just alongside each other comfortably on the chest. Maybe you'd like to take an opportunity to close your eyes, take your focus inward, and give me a little bit of inward reflection. Maybe starting to ponder those things that, that you haven't quite been able to let go of, things that maybe have happened to you or to loved ones in the past that are perhaps weighing a bit heavy on your chest. Symbolically gather some of those those thoughts that you've been dwelling on in your right hand and then symbolically let it go by pushing away with the right hand. Then bring your right hand back to your chest. Let's do the same on the left. Gathering up some of those thoughts, whether they're good, whether they're bad, and then just let them go. Give them wings. Bring your left hand back to your chest. Now gather what remains with both hands. Harvest those feelings, maybe those resentments. Let them go. They no longer have power on you. Come back towards the midline and then with that sense of almost having been unburdened, you're going to heel toe your feet in and you're going to find your way into a tree line, bending the left leg, either sole of the foot nice and low with your big toe connected to the mat. Or you can come up a little bit higher, just underneath your knee. Or maybe you'd like to go full hog and place your whole left foot on the inseam of the right leg. Bring your hands 
to a nice little lotus mudra. So for the lotus, you're going to bring the heels of your hands together. You're going to join the pinkies and the thumbs. And then you're going to splay the rest of your fingers open so that you look like a beautiful little lo um, lotus bloom with your petals open and receptive. Open and receptive. Remember, you've just let go of all those resentments that have been weighing on you. And now you've let go. You feel light and unburdened. And that lotus bloom symbolizes your willingness to begin taking in good energy. You've let go of the bad, take in some good energy. Just find stillness, maybe keeping your eye trained on a focal point in front of you, and try to hold your tree, Virksasana, for maybe 30 seconds, maybe even as long as a minute, just finding stillness, finding control, relishing in the fact that you've been able to let go and you have now more control over your thoughts and where you're allowing them to go to. As your right leg begins to quiver and speak to you, you're going to undo your tree and you're going to take a little lunge step back into a low lunge so you're releasing the back knee, shin and foot. If you can, try to keep that back toe under. We're going to begin playing with a little pelvic tilt. Let's find the tilt first and then we'll add to the movement. So begin with a beautiful neutral spine. Maybe you'd like to place your hands on your hips. Maybe you want to keep them relaxed at your side. You're going to tilt your pelvis to the 12 o'clock position. You're going to feel a nice stretch on the inside of your left hip bone and then tilt back to neutral. Do that two or three more times, finding the tilt and then releasing it back to neutral. Moving with your breath. Exhale as you tilt, and then inhale as you float your pelvis back to neutral. Then let's see if we can add to that movement. So the next time you find neutral spine, open up your arms into a beautiful T frame. As you tilt, you're gonna draw the two hands together as if you were harvesting positive energy from the universe. As your hands tap, you're gonna feel that energy running along your arms and feeding your whole body. Then open back up. Do that two or three more times. Maybe exhale as you harvest and internalize. Inhale to open back up, getting ready for your next gathering. One more time. And then from this frame, you're going to open up into a warrior two frame. So focus on your back leg. Bring the back knee up off the floor. Open up the back foot to 90 and then wiggle your arms open. But today, instead of palms down in the traditional warrior two frame, we're going to do palms rotated in so that um, your palms are looking in the same orientation as your trunk. And you're going to reach as long as you can not only through both sets of fingertips, but also through the crown of your head. Make sure that the weight is coming down beautifully through the pelvis. And just take a couple of moments here in your strong warrior. Maybe your gaze is steady over your front finger, front set of fingers, just looking for that power, looking for that strength within your warrior. Then let's morph into a triangle from here. Begin to straighten your lead leg. Start to draw the energy up along the quad of the lead leg. Pause here for a moment in this stretch, reaching as long as you can to both sets of legs. Then pretend somebody's tugging your lead arm forward. Hinge forward and find purchase on the inseam of your leg. So maybe pushing with the back of your hand against the inseam of your leg, or maybe fingertips to floor, or maybe palm to floor, or maybe you'd like to use a block on the inseam of your leg if the floor is not um, that accessible for you today. And just find a beautiful T-frame through the arms, opening up your chest, opening up your heart. Think of making your body as open and as receptive as you can today. Let go of the old, the ugly, let in the potential of wonderful new things. You're going to use this triangle frame to find your way into a little balancing challenge. 
little half moon. So maybe bending the lead leg, placing your right hand on the floor in front of you. Launch off the back leg. And try to keep a somewhat stacked position so that it feels almost like your left hip is stacking on top of the right. Still beautiful open chest, still open, still receptive. Ease your way from here into a forward fold. Maybe coming straight into gorilla and tucking both hands, palms down underneath your feet. If that's too much, maybe just hands on the top of your thighs in a tabletop position. Or maybe hands to your shoes. Play with it. Either coming into the full expression of Padahasasana with your hands tucked, palms up underneath your feet. And then gently begin to rock the body weight back and forth. Starting to feel that delicious stretch on the back chain of the legs. Starting to feel that beautiful stretching release into the lower back. Keep your belly button gently pulled into center. And then try to come to stillness somewhere between the balls and the heels of your feet and just hold the fold. Making your crown nice and heavy to the floor while you keep your belly button gently pulled into center. Then begin to soften through the knees, feet your hands out, keep your feet in parallel so you've still got one foot stacking underneath each hip, and bleed up ragdoll style, restacking, realigning your body, so think knees over ankles, hips over knees, shoulders over hips, head center aligned. You're going to stand up nice and tall with the arms at your side and we're going to begin playing with the breath. Take a big breath in as you circle your hands overhead. <clears throat> Then on an active exhale, come down in active prayer, stopping with your hands in front of your heart. Then reverse the trace and the breath pattern. So inhale this time as you press into the hands and bring them overhead, forming a long steeple. And then exhale as you angel wing open up the arms, retracing your path back to your start position. You're going to begin playing with that movement. Inhale to circle overhead. Exhale to come down in active prayer. Then reverse the pattern. Inhaling to press into the hands and come up into a tall steeple. Exhale to angel wing open. Do that maybe three more times, starting to connect with your breath. And if you like, you can close the eyes and make the movement and the breath almost a soft meditation of its own. Taking your focus inward. Starting to get a sense of, of how you feel on the mat today. One more time. And never be afraid to play with a nice audible breath pattern. As you complete your last angel wing opening, you're going to sit back into a chair. Feet are still parallel. You're going to push the weight back into your bum and your heels. You're going to reach the hands out in front and you're going to sit back. Maybe trying to frame your ears on either side with your arms as you think weight nice and heavy towards the back end of the mat. Belly is quite close to the top of your thighs. And then fold it forward again. Come into the forward fold of your choice. Maybe hands on the mat. Maybe hands higher up along the chain of your leg. And if your hands are easily reaching the floor today, maybe you'd like to invert the hands and begin to walk them away from you towards the back end of the mat so that you're getting more drop down through the crown, more release into the lower back, beautiful inversion of the blood into the head. And then think about the weight on your feet. Try to have the weight placement equal on the front and the back of your foot so that you're optimally getting that stretch into the back chain of your legs. Feel the blood pooling in your head. Soften through the knees. If you've walked your hands through, bring them back to the mat in front of you. And then with those soft bendy knees, you're going to heel toe out into your original soft plie-like line. Think horse. You're going to bleed up, placing the hands on the tops of your thighs. 
and then you're just going to hang down between your two thighs, almost feeling as you as if you drop down between your two collarbones. Just hang here for a moment. If you're really tight to the pelvis, you can give me a sideway lean, side to side. Then come to stillness, take a big breath in and drop the right shoulder down towards the floor, rotating slightly through the trunk and then looking over the left shoulder. If this feels good, maybe let go of the left hand and reach for the wall behind you, opening up beautifully to the left side of your body. Inhale to peel back to center. Exhale to drop down. Take a big breath in to prepare. And then on an exhale, drop the left shoulder towards the floor, begin to rotate slightly to the right, looking over the right shoulder for the back edge of your mat. If your inner thigh connection is good and you've got a good core connection, maybe start to float the right arm behind you and reach for the wall behind you. Lead your way back to center. Come into a nice tall stance, find that little star stretch. So you're straightening up through the legs, but they're still softly slowed up. You're going to reach your fingertips nice and long. Stretch through your crown, stretch through the arms, stretch through the legs, stretch through the belly. Then relax the arms at your side and work your dynamic little PA by bending through the knees and then coming back down. So as you bend through the knees, just make your pelvis nice and heavy to the floor. You can hold neutral spine as you play with those drops. Start to, to sink to your breath as you move on the mat. Then end in the PA line and begin to play with your horse flow. Harvest some energy towards your chest. Push it away from you. Bring it back. Now begin to drop it down. So, Every time you drop to the floor, you try to splay those knees maybe a little bit further out. Um, body should be a little bit warmer, so it feel more comfortable to drop the ball down, maybe just shy of the floor. Then harvest the back up like a delicious ball of energy. Feed it to yourself so it comes to your chest. And then harvest that good energy out. Share it. The universe will give back to you. And then keep playing with that closed circuit. So you're thinking of harvesting good energy, Sharing it, the universe will give it back to you. Then stand up nice and tall, find that little star stretch again. Beginning to draw up energy from your kneecap, along your quads, along the hamstrings. Getting that energy start to feed up through your trunk. Reach along through your crown, your fingertips, stretch the legs. Then relax the arms. Find that soft horse-like flow, or you can keep the legs long and extended if you prefer. And you're going to place your hand on your bosom, hands are alongside each other, maybe looking for that opportunity again to close your eyes and check in with yourself. Are there still any niggles within? Any past experiences that you haven't quite managed to let go of yet? Maybe there are one or two still hiding inside. Symbolically harvest them, harvest that neg negative energy in your right hand. And then let it go. Push the right hand away, let go of that negative. Bring back some positive with you. Check in again. Are there still any lingering negatives left inside? Harvest them symbolically within the left hand and then set them free. Give them wings, allow them to fly away. Bring back some good energy with you and internalize it. Take one last sweep with them, digging deep into those little corners that you hide away from others and sometimes even hide away from yourself. Harvest them, dig them out of those corners symbolically let them go. They no longer have power over you. You've set them free. You've set yourself free. Then drop the arms at your side and with your new sense of having unburdened, heel toe your legs in and set up your tree line, this time bending the right leg. So begin to find a drishti or a focal point on the wall in front of you. Bend your right knee. 
find a spot, maybe big toes connected to the mat. Maybe you're coming to half mast just underneath your knee or above your knee, but never on the knee line itself. So you don't want to press on that knee joint. Find your balance, find stillness, find control. And then when you're ready, bring your hands into your lotus mudra and look for stillness, look for control. Maybe even allowing a beautiful, soft, gentle smile to break over your face as you just think of relishing that new sense of peace within now that you've let go what's no longer serving you. Then when your left leg begins to wobble and really complain, you're going to relax the arms at your side. You're going to take a little lunge, step back with the right leg, relaxing the knee to the floor, but trying to keep the toes tucked under if you can. Relax your hands on your hips so you can think superhero. <laughs> and then start to play with that pelvic tilt. Beginning in neutral. And if you are feeling the knees, feel comfortable to maybe roll your mat double or put some padding over the knees. You're going to tilt to 12 o'clock. Pause. Feel that delicious stretch just on the inside of your right hip bone. And then bring it back to neutral. Give yourself two or three preparatory rounds. And then once you've found the pelvic tilt, you're going to begin to use it dynamically, opening up your arms into T. Harvest energy from the universe. Internalize it. It's the hands tap. And then open back up and take another, another harvesting. Starting to play with your breath, you can start giving me a nice active breath pattern. And feel comfortable to experiment with your inhalation and your exhalation cycle, but keep the breath rolling. You don't want to um, deprive the body of that delicious feed of oxygen. Aim back in that beautiful T-frame and find your way into a warrior two-frame, windmilling your arms open as you open up the back foot to 90. But make sure that instead of palms up or palms down, you're giving your palms to the side. So you're opening up your palms, facing in the same orientation as your trunk. Maybe your gaze is steady over your front forefingers. Then begin to morph your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, into a triangle, Chikonasana. Start to extend the front leg and begin to pull the energy up from the kneecap along your quad. Feel that delicious stretch into the lead leg. When you're ready, focus on your front arm. Somebody's pulling you forward. Start to pop forward and find purchase on the inseam of your leg. Whether you're just using the back of your hand, or maybe you've got fingertips to mat, or maybe even palm to mat. Focus on that beautiful opening through the chest. So think right arm to sky, chest opening up deliciously. Stay here or begin to play with your little balancing challenge, finding your way into half moon, bending the lead leg, placing your left hand on the floor. Try to keep that sense of open chest as you rotate to stack the right hip on top of the left. And just stay here as open as you can through the body. So open chest, open pelvis. Then bleed your way from here into a forward fold. Feet are relaxed and parallel. Maybe hands on your shins or your thighs will come straight into gorilla by tucking your hands, palms up, underneath your feet and begin to play with a gentle rock. Trying to keep the legs as extended as you can or maybe you need to work with a soft knee today and think of connecting the belly to the top of your thighs. So play where you're comfortable. Always play where you are. Don't judge your body. Always just play with whatever it's giving you on any given day. Often the judgments that we make are hardest on ourselves. Start to relish that sensation of the blood beginning to pool in the head. And then when you're ready, you're going to find your way into a standing frame, a comfortable summer seating. Maybe soften through the knees, feed the hands out, and then bleed up nice and slowly, ragdoll style, restacking or realigning your body. We're going to work that active prayer line. So start with the arms along your side. Take a big breath in as you circle the hands overhead. And then come down in active prayer on an exhale. 
then retrace your path back and reverse the breath cycle. So this time inhale as you press up into a tall steeple and then exhale as your angel wing open. Let's rinse and repeat. Starting to maybe close your eyes, take your focus inward so that you're focusing on the movement, the breath, playing with that breath cycle, reversing it. Looking for that sensation of opening up, freeing yourself of the constraints that you place on yourself, dwelling on the past and allowing those thoughts to hold you back instead of setting you free. Let's do that flow one more time. Finding a beautiful innate rhythm of your own. When you open up for the last time through your last angel wing, you're going to find your way into a little chair seat, Utkatasana. Bending at the knees, bumping the weight back into your bum and your heels and floating the arms out in front. Think of framing your ears on either side and just pause here, looking for strength within your seat. Then relax into a soft forward fold of your choice. Maybe extending the legs fully, inverting the hands and beginning to creep or walk them towards the back end of the mat. Think about that weight placement in your feet. Try to find that perfect balance between the front and the back of your foot so that you're really feeling that amazing stretch, that opening through the back chain of your legs. If you had walked your hands through, you're going to bring your hands back to the mat in front of you and you're going to heel toe your feet up, coming back into that soft plie-like stance, knees and feet looking out in a soft V. You're going to ragdoll up, place your hands on the top of your thighs, and then just hang down between the two legs. Maybe gently swaying your body weight side to side, especially if you're feeling a little pinch maybe on the inside of the hip bones. Then come to stillness, trying to center your weight as best you can. Take a nice delicious breath in, and on the exhale, drop your left shoulder heavy to the floor. Look over your right shoulder towards the back end of the mat. And if you're nicely grounded through the feet and you found that core connection, maybe reach the right fingertips for the wall behind you. Just open up as generously as, generously as you can through the right side of your chest and your ribs. Then inhale to come back to center. Exhale to drop down into the middle. Maybe swaying side to side. Center your weight, take a big breath in. On an exhale, make your right shoulder heavy to the floor. Pivot to look over the left shoulder for the back edge of your mat. Think of grounding through your feet, almost pulling up an imaginary zip along the inseam of your legs and then see if you can float the left um, arm behind you to reach for the wall. Looking at those fingertips so that your gaze is tracking the movement. Then inhale to come back to center. Start to straighten up the legs and find that little star stretch. Starting to draw up the energy along both quads. Arms are opened up beautifully, looking out to the side of your at the, of the side of the room at about shoulder height. And you're just trying to get a delicious stretch into the tops of your thighs, into the belly, into the chest, into the arms. Spine beautifully long. Then relax the arms at your side and find your way into a seat of your choice to end off your practice. I'm going to come into Thunderbolt. Pick a seat that you can comfortably hold for at least three or four minutes as we end off with a little bit of breath work. So I'm coming to Thunderbolt, knees together, feet together, sitting back on my heels, but you can pick a seat that works for you. I'm going to I angle my body slightly so that you can get a better view of what I'm doing. We're going to end with a little bit of breath work, anulum vilum, alternate nostril breathing. If you know um, the breath work, you can get started directly. If you're new to anulum vilum, you're going to keep your left hand relaxed. We'll use the right hand, or if you're left-handed, you're more than welcome to use the left hand. You're going to take your middle and index finger, placing them 
on your third eye. We are going to use the thumb to control the opening and the closing of the right nostril. We're going to use the ring finger to control the opening and the closing of the left, left nostril. Obviously, if you're left-handed, you're going to work the opposite, but using your thumb and your ring finger as the open and close hands. All right. Press into your third eye. That's symbolically um, your seat of consciousness, your Anya Chakra. You're going to connect to that energy center, maybe taking a moment to close your eyes and take your focus inward. Let's close the right nostril. Use your thumb. Take a big inhale in through your left nostril. Then close the left nostril with your ring finger and open and exhale right. Then inhale right, close it, open and exhale left. Then inhale left, close it, open and exhale right. Begin to first find an inhalation and exhalation rhythm that works for you. Maybe starting with an inhale for maybe a count of three and then doubling up and exhaling for six. If that feels good, start to build it up. See what four to eight feels like. If that's pretty easy, maybe try five to ten or maybe even six to twelve. And then once you've got your inhalation and your exhalation rhythm going, Puraka and Rechaka, you can add a third component, Kumbhakasana retention of the breath. So let's say you're inhaling for three through one nostril. You're going to close it, nod your chin to your chest and retain or hold the breath for six seconds. So you're going to double up on the retention. Then release the chin lock, exhale through the other nostril for six. So your ratio now becomes one to two to two. Inhalation to retention to exhalation. And just find a beautiful rhythm of your own, closing your eyes, taking your focus inward and totally just focusing on your breath work. Starting to connect to the male and the feminine energy within your body. In its most simplistic terms, you, you're dealing with the left and the right side of not only your brain, but of the nervous system. And you're trying to harmonize the energy that flows within. Finding a beautiful rhythm of your own. Looking for a little bit of quiet, a little bit of control. Make this your last round of Anulum Vilum alternate nostril breathing. And once you've taken your last exhale, just relax both hands down. Eyes are still closed, focus is still inward. And just give yourself a couple of soft recovery breaths. Inhaling and exhaling through both nostrils equally. Keeping the seat of your choice, symbolically float your hands into Lotus Mudra. Pinkies together, heels of your hands touching, thumbs touching, the rest of your fingers looking up to the sky. Symbolically making yourself open and receptive for the good now that you've given your body an opportunity to purge and get rid of those negative thoughts that have been clouding, maybe taking up too much room inside. Close your eyes once more. Take your focus inward. 
And think of that intention, that sankalpa that we set at the beginning of the class. Remember that you cannot heal the past by dwelling on it. What's past is done. It cannot be undone. You can only heal the past by living fully in the now. With those thoughts of wisdom, close your lotus broom, bring in your hands to prayer mudra, and perhaps ending off today's practice on the words Om Shanti. Peace within, peace without. Hope you enjoyed today's class. Till next time, keep it light. Ha, ha, ha.